Hi everybody, so you may have seen my earlier video where I showed you my Sanchez frame and a build of it that I did with the Cadex Turtle V2 HD capable camera. This is a rebuild that I did without the uh, actually quite heavy HD capable uh, Cadex camera. This one's got a Runcam Nano 2 instead and the um, tinier pod for 40 millimeter cameras. Um, in this configuration, the build comes in at 75 grams, so it's uh, actually 14 uh, or 13 grams lighter than the HD capable version, and that makes it even uh, faster. So what I did, I was on a race this weekend, and uh, in between the runs there was a little break where I could take this on the track. I couldn't fly the actual track because that wasn't uh, allowed outside of the uh, official practice runs. But I have some VR footage, and I think the track gives you a quite good impression of the scale and, and speed this little quad has. Alright, so as you can see, um, what's pretty obvious, I get low battery warnings right from the beginning. Uh, I couldn't see the use the milliamp hours and amp draw here because I just um, didn't set up the DOS yet because it was a brand new board. But you can see the uh, there was a low battery warning right uh, after starting. So obviously, if you're flying with the setup on an open field and uh, really, really punching out hard for longer periods of time, the 450 milliamp hours 3S doesn't seem to be enough. Um, I tried a 650 milliamp hours 3S and um, that's much more suitable at least if you are going faster for a longer period of time. If you're kind of cruising around flying more chill, then 450 is completely fine. And the other thing you can see is how darn fast this little quad is. Um, it's really insane on straight lines. It's for such a tiny quad, this thing is fast. And the crazy thing is also how it rips around the corners. This thing just turns so fast. It's really, really amazing.